Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, for more information about Bookmap, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there is a free 14-day trial period. It comes with education. Uh, these webinars that you're attending right now are open for uh, all uh, is to get familiar with the platform, uh, the, the features, the components, understanding the software, understanding uh, what it what is displaying and, and some basics about uh, understanding order flow. Uh, but um, uh, once you are in trial, uh, we uh, segment out those that um, are, are asking the um, uh, you know sort of uh, uh, new new questions regarding uh, the their common questions uh, to really hone home in on the um, uh, understanding uh, the details in advanced order flow okay so that's what the the uh, you get with the uh, as a bookmap customer uh, that's every day Monday through Friday uh, these advanced order flow webinars uh, so that uh, you can really uh, uh, refine your skills there um, it's at 11 uh, Eastern time so in about 25 minutes and the um, bookmap educational course that is also available to you the um, order flow um, or the advanced uh, order flow webinars support the material in the uh, bookmap educational course and there are other resources as well so uh, together with the free uh, trial of the platform uh, you really get uh, gain an understanding of how to use it uh, and uh, and how to how to trade order flow Okay, so any questions, reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. And uh, let's uh, show you where you can find Bookmap. All right, so for those of you who are interested in this trial, so come up to the, uh, uh, well, the uh, homepage here, click on Explore. Uh, and uh, there's an intro video here just to give you an over, overview of what Bookmap is. And then there's just uh, some scrolling information here about Bookmap. Now, uh, this link here for next week's webinars, uh, I'll update this uh, in a few hours so you can click and register for all of next week's uh, uh, Bookmap uh, platform details webinars here. Okay. Uh, and uh, just continue on down here. Uh, there's Bookmap for equities, okay, with NASDAQ total view. Uh, if we continue on down, connectivity, this is important. You will need um, uh, your own data provider or and or uh, through your broker, okay? So uh, Bookmap is a software platform. We don't provide the data, okay? So uh, you can connect via one of these uh, data providers or uh, brokers. Uh, a little bit further down, here's the Bookmap uh, free 14-day trial. Uh, there's Bookmap Basic, Advanced, and Quant. Now, there's really only one version of Bookmap. It's Bookmap Basic. The other um, different um, uh, offers here are uh, for uh, add-ons and uh, uh, just, just more features, okay? So, for example, uh, the uh, Bookmap Advanced, you get the one-click trading, okay, the ability to trade from the chart, uh, as well as the uh, these proprietary indicators that we developed to understand the subtleties in order flow. Okay, for those of you who are, that are quants, looking at your own data feeds, uh, your own proprietary indicators, you can click here and learn more, uh, and we can help you out. All right, so there uh, is a few more links to go through here, and then we'll get into Bookmap. Um, the, uh, if you need a data feed, uh, you know, a demo, uh, you can click here and sign up for a demo. Uh, and uh, if you can't decide which one uh, you want to use, the Bookmap Basic Advanced, and you want to see the details, you can compare by clicking on this link. Uh, and you can see the comparison chart, okay? Notice at the bottom here is where you, you're really going to start to see the uh, the differences, all right? Okay, uh, let's see. So, social media, you can follow us on uh, Twitter at bookmap underscore pro, and also you can subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, there's plenty of videos here, plenty of material. For those of you who are new, I'd uh, encourage you to watch some of the intro videos just to get the overall feel of Bookmap. And then start with the uh, features and components uh, playlist here. Uh, and then uh, watch some of these uh, order flow video snippets. Okay, This is what we cover in the advanced um, analysis. Uh, these are just really concise uh, and um, uh, just go through the basics. Uh, we go through these kinds of 
uh, order flow phenomena in detail during the uh, advanced uh, webinar. All right, so you really get an understanding of structure, price, order flow, uh, price activity, et cetera. All right, and really what's going on within the markets because Bookmap is, is um, able to uh, offer a, a level of transparency that's uh, really uh, pretty unique. Uh, so you will be able to um, uh, really understand some of the subtleties in the market, and then uh, that's going to allow you to make much more informed trading decisions. All right. Okay. So let's uh, let's take a look here uh, at Bookmap and what's going on. All right. So zooming out. Okay. Now, uh, for those of you who are new here, we're looking at the Nasdaq uh, E Mini. Uh, here's our 9:30 cash open, okay, and you can see the move to the downside. Uh, looks like a pretty nice reversal pattern here, okay. But uh, uh, looking for some follow through here. Uh, let's see if we can come up above the swing here. We're very close to it. It's looking very poised to do that. So I'm looking for uh, actually uh, maybe a, maybe we can get a move up into this 59, 58, 59 area right now. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it. I'm looking for the breakout to occur right now. Um, so uh, uh, we'll we'll uh, get back to that in just a minute. Okay, so this looks like a lot of information here. It looks very detailed and maybe uh, 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 too complex. It's really not. It's really simple stuff. There are three items that are being dis uh, displayed here. Historical, best bid and offer. Uh, and uh, let me show you that. Okay, I'm going to take off all of the uh, other data here. Keep that. Okay, this is your historical, and let me we do we do have an indicator panel, um, but Bookmap is really not an indicator whatsoever. It's a very very uh, transparent view of um, of of the current state or. In, current and historical state of the market, okay? Historical best bid and offer, that's it. That's all this is right here, okay? If I zoom in, you can see here, this is the current uh, best bid and offer with the dashed lines, okay? Historical best bid is the green line, best offer is the red, that's that's it, okay? This is, this is way more simple than understanding a uh, candlestick, for example, okay? Uh, candle, this is just the market. All right, now we'll layer on top the trade data. All right, so now you can see here transactions that, that took place on the historical best bid and offer. Okay, that's it. All right, so this is an important part of the order flow. Uh, we got one more rotation here, so let's see if the buyers step in again. And uh, I'll cover this, why, why it came down to this area here. But I'm still looking for that breakout here. I'm looking for that aggressive aggressive buyers, green dots pulling the market up. All right. Um, so um, anyway, we'll cover cover that in just a second here and let this unfold a bit. Um, so this is the volume. Okay. Now uh, let's uh, look at uh, something more. Okay. The heat map. Okay. What is the heat map? All right, this is the other side that at uh, um, historical best bid and offer, volume, and then now we're seeing the auction. All right, so in this window here with the with the current uh, state of the market, uh, we're looking at the limit order book over here. Okay, so at 62.50 here in the Nasdaq, we see 78 contracts. It's painted white because it's high liquidity in the book. All right. Higher liquidity is over here on the offer. 94 contracts is painted white. Okay, so we know that we know the current condition graphically here is just being displayed graphically. Okay, that uh, there's high liquidity up here. The market wants to trade up here. All right, uh, it knows it can trade up there. It knows that there's liquidity up there. Okay, so um, uh, and um, the market needs liquidity in order to trade. Okay, so. What we do is just take that data and display it here on the chart historically. Okay, so note these little striations in the uh, heat map right here. Well, that's the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, that's all this is. So, what we're showing here, as I zoom out, and you, you maybe get uh, a little overwhelmed by all of this data, but what we're just showing is the historical uh, condition of the uh, limit order book of the dome. 
this offers tremendous insight here because we're able to not just look at these numbers changing because they'll, they'll change and, and then they'll they'll update, right? But it's we don't remember, or it'll be hard to recall how that auction unfolded. Well, look at the action here. They were interested in selling over here. They come back in again at this area and they're back in again here at 53, between 53 and 55 in fact. All right, so that we have it all recorded here. We know that there's interest here on the offer, all right? That would be rather hard to remember for the last like uh, uh, hour uh, or 45 minutes or so uh, and just uh, keep this in mind all day long, but now you don't need to, it's it's here in the heat map, all right? Okay, so just to uh, drive this point home, let me turn on these candlesticks, all right? Uh, because I want to show the transparency here that Bookmap is is offering, uh, and uh, it it really gives you insight here. Uh, and um, uh, let's just look at a candlestick chart. Okay, so this is a five-minute candlestick chart. Okay, we're all pretty accustomed to this view. We know that this is open, high, low, close of a five-minute period. It's only four data points here, though. All right, uh, and we're kind of trying to read and understand the volume, where traders are committed, the price action here by reading these candlesticks, okay? It's confusing or it it's it's opaque. It doesn't give you the insight that you need. The problem is here is we have no understanding of where the volume traded. Uh, we don't have any, any understanding of what happened within that five minute period. Uh, there's microstructural areas here that give us a lot of insight. All right, so let me turn that on and just I'll show you, uh, looking at historical best bid and offer, that kind of insight. Okay, as we zoom in. Okay, well, uh, for example, uh, I would say in this area here, okay, we see the move to the downside and a, and a, a nice kind of a snap back up into this area. Okay, uh, and then we get a little bit of a retest, but then we break this little microstructure area here, come up to the upside. All right, so um, we, we come up and test uh, some of these areas here where there were sellers earlier. Okay, there's still sellers there, or it exhausts out. You know, we don't find buyers, okay? So uh, the, mar the market rotates lower. Where does it rotate to, okay? It rotates to this little structural area here, okay? And it, and it uh, either exhausts out, uh, doesn't find sellers down here any longer, or we start to find buyers down here, okay? Uh, and we may even see a lot of, uh, the, in the uh, limit order book, historical view, we may see a lot of activity here. They want to buy at a higher level in the auction, on the bid, right? This is the insight that we're gonna get, okay? All of this information is just completely lacking in this candlestick chart. We have no clue. Uh, and that's just looking at the uh, historical best bid and offer. Let's turn on the volume and we'll see the transactions and this will um, give us a lot more insight, okay, and understanding where the traders are committed, all right? Well, these traders down here, they're stuck. Uh, we, we know that uh, they're, they're going to, uh, uh, anyone who sold down here uh, is going to cover, uh, most likely cover, well, it depends on on how um, you know weak they are in this market, uh, if they're uh, maybe got a little bit deeper pockets, they'll they might be you know covering up in this area. If not, they'll be covering uh, probably in this area here. Okay, and uh, we can see. And let's zoom into this area. Okay, this is where they got trapped. All right, look at the buying, the aggressive buying here that lifted the offer really quickly after we see a, a nice cluster here of selling, okay? In fact, look where we came back to on the retest here uh, into uh, this little structural area here where they were buying. Uh, and uh, uh, we know that they were buying here, okay? We see some sellers here, they're gonna get stuck as well. Um, but uh, we basically, uh, you know, see, we see some selling in this area here. We go sideways for a bit. And then the aggressor on the buy side turns turns it up again, and uh, they they jump in here and lift the offer. Okay, now we break above this little structural area here, and it's off to the races. Okay, to the upside. This is the kind of insight that you're going to see just just looking at the traded volume. 
right? Now, understanding this microstructure here is, is critical uh, compared to, um, you know, like a footprint chart, for example. You're going to be able to read the, um, the aggressor. There's no question about that. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be aggregated. It's all of this is going to be aggregated within one uh, candlestick or, you know, maybe a bar rotation. Here instead, we're, we're getting real insight to structure, all right? Uh, and um, we're, we're understanding the volume within that structure. And that's the key here, all right? So uh, uh, look, at, look at how they, uh, we, we go above the, the, the um, uh, area right here, and they, they really, really turn on the buying. Okay. Okay. So the um, that's the uh, the inside. Just with look at, looking at the traded volume here, let's turn on the heat map though, and let's uh, gain some more insight to what maybe maybe occurred here. All right. All right. Now we can see that they're layering in here uh, in the uh, in the limit order book. Okay. And they wanted to be buyers down in these areas here. Okay, we see that they were pretty aggressive here, but look how they pulled their liquidity at this area here. Okay, and the buyers, uh, they step in and really it price charges up to the upside. It's searching for higher liquidity. Uh, these guys here, we, we, we have all of this transparency. We, we know exactly what occurred here. Okay, if I zoom into this area, look how these guys here, and we can use this tool, we can hover over this area, and uh, we can see the date, the time, and then what was on the ask here? On the ask, there's 103 contracts. That's pretty high for the uh, for the Nasdaq, right? And look how they pulled. As price is coming up, they pulled. So did these guys want to buy or sell up here? No, they did not. They, they, it looks like they're pulling and uh, uh, maybe adding up here to higher levels. Okay, so this is uh, this is bullish. Uh, you know, we're looking at. Uh, they're, they're not so aggressive here. They want to be buyer or sellers up up in these areas here. Okay, so the market is attracted to that area. A little bit of spoofing activity here. Okay, no question. Uh, it's um, uh, well, no question that this is the same actor. All right, uh, because look how there was high liquidity here. Someone came in, the, and this is a larger player. Uh, came in here, and our larger lot, large lot tracker here is showing that. Um, but um, this is one of the uh, add-ons that you get with Bookmap uh, Advanced that shows larger players, and we can see the liquidity here. They jumped in here, and they were very aggressive here. They wanted to be buyers at these higher levels. Okay, and look how they pulled here and added one tick above, right at the same moment, and they did it again here. Okay, we've just identified the larger player now. This is something that uh, uh, to, to understand how these markets operate uh, is is critical uh, because um, uh, we're starting to uh, gauge what's going on here in the auction, right? Now, if we turn that off in the heat map, we have no clue of, of that. There's no understanding of that historically. You may have seen it over here uh, very quickly, uh, and they, but these numbers change and they update. Uh, we won't we won't get the um, uh, you know the the display here historically of how these guys performed and and behaved. There's, it would be very difficult to understand some of this activity in the dome. All right. Instead, we can see it very clearly here. Okay. This is going to skew the auction. Okay. It skews that auction, and um, all of a sudden there's a lot of demand. Okay. Think of it like an auction. Think of that they they jump in here. Uh, and uh, they uh, uh, all of a sudden in an auction, like a regular auction, okay, they uh, they jump in. Uh, we all of a sudden we have like a hundred more uh, interested buyers at a high level in the auction. Well, how would how would price or how would that object, the price of that object, behave in the auction? Well, it, you know, it must be worth more. Uh, there's a lot of demand. Okay, so. Um, uh, where 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 are sellers? Where would where would people be willing to sell it? Where this is where people are very interested to buy. Okay, it skews the auction. All right. Now this is what happens with short-term high liquidity. Uh, it will skew that auction. We're looking at all sorts of things that that occurred here. Uh, the um, uh, 
we see also a flip of the book. They were were here on the uh, on the offer that flipped over to the uh, uh, to the bid, and we see the aggressive uh, buying that took place here, and it pulled this market to the upside. Let me show you if I zoom into this dot because look at this big dot here, and we see a pie display. So like three quarters of this is aggressive buying. But let me show you what how we display this volume. If I zoom in, note how uh, we break apart that big dot, and we're showing you exactly what traded here okay now there's a little bit of lag here between best bid and offer uh, and traded volume so um, anyway this uh, you, you can see the lag here uh, very clearly like this should be over here all right these they come in or I mean we're looking at you know millisecond and in some cases we can zoom in and we're looking at you know microsecond levels here right uh, when we start looking at microsecond levels we can see exactly what traded here uh, and we can see a little bit of that lag, all right? So anyway, note how uh, we have every single individual uh, event that took place in the market. And But as I zoom, as I zoom in, I, I break apart all that activity and we see exactly what traded here, okay? Look at this, for example, here. Right? We're, since we can zoom into these levels and see exactly how these markets are trading, we have an understanding of uh, the player here as well. This is algorithmic activity, right? Look at the spacing and the, um, uh, uh, you know, just uh, mechanical buying here, okay? It, it's got to be uh, algorithmic activity, all right? So some algo is lifting the offer, okay? Uh, and, um, and, the, and we can see the follow through. Now this might be uh, together with uh, some of these traders down here uh, that are skewing the auction and they're lifting the offer uh, at the same time. We don't know. If that is the case, that would be an illegal practice and that, that would be known as spoofing. Anyway, the subtleties and details about this is something that uh, we go through in the uh, advanced uh, order flow webinar. Uh, what's important is to understand the effect uh, that uh, this has uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the market. Right, and how these markets really trade. Okay, let's go back and let's take a look at our um, what occurred here. All right, well, I was looking for that breakout. Right, well, we didn't get it. Um, it was looking pretty good, but uh, one more rotation down, we may get it right here again. All right, so um, uh, you know there we didn't find enough buyers is what occurred here. Let me take off the uh, candlestick chart. Okay, so we're still range bound. All right, this did this looked really good up here. Um, in this area especially, it looked it looked really good. Um, uh, but what what we're looking for here uh, is uh, more aggressive buying here to come up and take this liquidity. This is the first stopping area here at 53. Okay, because that's where the liquidity is. Uh, and we saw that uh, they they were interested here. Uh, you know, a half hour ago or 45 minutes ago, uh, and then uh, and then just uh, uh, 15 minutes ago they were interested here again, and they're also coming back into the book. Okay, as price is coming up, so we know the sellers are up here, right? If the buyers want to take them on, that's where they can trade. Okay, so um, uh, if the buyers exhaust out though, and we don't get that aggressive buying, well, we're just going to. This is exactly what happened. Uh, here, okay, and uh, we uh, we see the look at these little areas up here and the lack of aggressive buying. It's very different than over here. Okay, we look at the big uh, you know green dots pulling price up. Okay, we see it here, and then it, you can see that they they exhausted out. Okay, they they no longer were aggressive. Okay, and that's when we we kind of rotate lower and the, and the sellers take take control here. Right, we can see it. We can see them uh, right here taking control. All right, here come the buyers again. All right, so uh, uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm looking for this to test this 53, 54 area. Okay, but this is different than before. Notice how we see the, the aggressive buying here. All right, okay. So I know that happened quickly, but we, we had the, and we're reading this very, very objectively and very clearly. Okay, this is what we were looking for over here. It didn't happen over here. It exhausted out. We got another rotation, deep, deep rotation, in fact, 
uh, and then uh, and then you can see that uh, uh, came back up and then this is what we were looking for earlier and uh, now we've got it okay now we see the breakout okay so you can see how uh, you know just by by reading this uh, reading you know the the players uh, reading the uh, transactions and reading where they're uh, in the uh, in the auction we're able to kind of piece this together very very objectively and very clearly uh, and, uh, and and look for and anticipate this kind of price movement. All right. So uh, anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you guys want, um, you know, I'll, I'll give you a link here to the uh, advanced. Uh, it's Friday, so, um, uh, you know, we uh, every now and then we'll, we'll give out the uh, advanced uh, link uh, so that, that I, mean, I, I need to, to end this session and then jump into the advanced one right now. So uh, let me uh, let me hand that over to you guys. Okay, I'm going to put it into the chat. Okay, there you go. So there's the link there. So click on that. Okay, it's in the chat and go to webinar. Uh, and then we will um, We'll continue on. All right, we'll go through if you guys want to get a little more feel for what the uh, advanced webinar is like. All right. All right. Well, we'll see you there. Okay, have a good weekend. Bye.